Well, the longer you ride your sea dews and uh, I guess your other watercraft, the more you find out about them. Um, some of us have been reporting that uh, we have problems with the uh, with the depth finder uh, going in and out, and uh, sometimes that's from leaking seals. And I've already posted a video on this channel about uh, how to add the new improved seal uh, and also how to screw down the top of the uh, of the transducer uh, to help with the problem of leaking fluid. Uh, I was out the other day and I found another problem. Uh, my uh, my depth kept kept blinking. And um, it seems to me that a lot of times that's re uh, because the fluid in the transducer is leaked out or something like that. And, uh, of course, that's what leads us to take a look at the seals. Well, this time, uh, I, the seals are good um, on the top of the transducer unit, and it's uh, screwed down with the small screws that I talked about in my earlier video. And I'll show you what we're talking about here. Here's the, uh, the transducer. And you can see right here, this is the... Uh, these are the small screws that I put in to hold, to hold the top down. Uh, you see this little uh, arrow here. Well, that's supposed to be pointed in toward the center uh, of the boat um, so that it shoots the beam the right, the right way. So those are the, those are the screws. And you'll notice that on these <coughs> transducers, there's a fluid tube that's connected to the transducer down down here in this area. Usually it will come up here and then it's like clipped here and then it's clipped up there and then routed around. Uh, and I'll show you what that's, so what that's like here. Okay, I've fixed the I've fixed the tube here, which uh, the fluid is supposed to come all the way up in the tube, uh, so you can see what your fluid level is, and you can see right here, it's attached and, and fixtured onto a uh, you know a nipple that extends out from the housing itself. The only problem on this nipple that I found out is that. There's no upset in the nipple. It's just a straight nipple that's flat, that's uh, completely smooth, and there's no bar on or anything like that. And uh, when I looked at it um, to check out my further problem, although I had fluid in my tube here, there was a little tiny bubble uh, down, very small, down in this area right here, and that led me to look at it from the side and see that... Um, that that bubble might be interfering with the readout of the transducer. Apparently, you know, if air gets in, any, any air gets underneath the, in between the transducer um, surface and the, and the hull surface, the transducer doesn't read very well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I'm going to attach that better. Um, and that's a, to me, that's a design defect that there's not a little barb in there to hold it on. Uh, because the only thing that was holding it on was a very small, um, a very small clip like this um, that was very loose and it didn't really do much, do much good at all. Of course, I'll have a devil of a time of fixing a clip down underneath there, but we'll figure out some way to do it. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do um, is I'm going to extend this tube. Um, up from here up over to this area so that when I want to check the level of my fluid um, I don't have to take off the rear deck here that's really a pain to constantly take off the rear deck uh, to check the fluid um, especially if you're out on the water and things are just not acting right and you need to add some fluid and what I'm going to do also is I ride motorcycles and what I'm going to do is also take one of these um, brake caliper uh, reservoirs for brake fluid and I'm going to fill it with uh, transducer fluid and mount it probably up in this area here so that all I have to do to check the fluid level is pop off the cap, pop off the seat and take a look at my fluid level. This is an interesting design here in that the top itself The top itself has this cool 
bellows on it. So you put your fluid in here, and then you put that on there like that, and this like this, and this forms a seal so no fluid can leak out, uh, out the top, but also any fluid that needs to, you know, go out the port here, this will move in, in response to atmospheric pressure or drawdown or something like that. So you don't have any problem. You can turn this upside down and no fluid will leak out. So that's what I'm going to do is going to help extend that tube uh, using this clear PVC tube and a nipple here to uh, up to the front. So I'll let you know how that works out uh, next time I talk to you. GoPro, stop video. GoPro, stop recording.